Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm here with Mr. Noldi. Hi. And he is a purveyor of rare plants. He's a collector of rare plants in Indonesia. He's a really, really good seller. And his Instagram is going to be on the screen for you guys. Today's episode is going to be a little bit shorter because we're going to look at his variegated monsteras. Now, as you know, there are many, many varieties of variegated monsteras, and we're going to be looking at each of their differences, the names, where they come from. And in the next episode, we're going to be touring his facility here, and I will ask him questions about plant care, what's trending, what's going on in the plant market now, as well as to look at his amazing rare plant collection. So stay tuned in the next episode for that. But for now, let's look at some variegated monsteras. All right, I'm actually doing a voiceover in the future because the original conversation is in Bahasa, Indonesia. Feel free to check out my Indonesian channel if you want to look at this episode in Bahasa, Indonesia. Now, they're wiping the leaf off with baby wipes because this is like uh, going to help the plant along with photosynthesis and also it's going to help us present the plant better. Usually, they do clean this every time before they do any kind of plant shows or competitions. It's wise to do it once in a while, but not too often. If it's good enough for a baby's butt i guess it's good enough for a variegated monstera leaf now mr noli here was explaining to me that this plant won best in show last year and it was about this height it was only half the height is it it is now and just in one year's time it's grown insanely huge so this is actually not a slow growing plant especially if it's already established this one plant is grown in a big pot and as you can see here the difference between the leaves before it was clean and after it's so much more clean than before and the plant is actually a lot happier and can breathe better after this wipe down but again you don't want to do this very often and one more time they actually use baby wipes to help clean the leaves and i may not have mentioned it earlier but the name of this monstera is called the monstera mint it's neither a deliciosa nor a borzigiana they really don't know the parentage but it does not get as big or as quickly as big as a deliciosa but it's definitely not a borzigiana it's got very beautiful minty pattern on the leaves and it's actually been very very trending for the last two to three years this particular specimen that we're looking at came particularly from Thailand and look at how beautiful the variegation is. Each of the leaf is wonderfully variegated. And I asked if this plant can get bigger leaves than this and he said yes. In fact, he's taken a photo with like a mature size leaf and it's about 1.2 meters in length that's how big these leaves can get and probably even bigger if you give it more time and a lot of these variegated plants also look really really good from the back so sometimes we have to appreciate them from behind as well and look at how nice the stripes are on the petiole and on the main stem of this plant this is truly a high quality variegated plant now, Mr. Noldi also explained to me that he originally bought 14 plants in which only six of them have been very, very stable. This means that the old leaves are going to retain some of the variegation, unlike the other eight, whose variegation turned to like a green color over time. So he actually got rid of those and he just continued to propagate from the six. This is why this particular plant that he's selling is not going to be as cheap or affordable as some of the ones that are in the market. Keep in mind that all the leaves here, even the old ones, will remain variegated and will not dull over time. The next plant we're gonna look at is the Monstera White Mint. This is actually a derivative from the mint. The mint actually contains some greens. It's very, very complicated variation, but the white mint is fully minted and this actually came from the regular mint. It's a very rare, rare occurrence where a single plant come out from the part of the growing eye that is completely mint on the monstera mint i don't know if you are making any sense but basically this is a fully mint plant that is a lot more rare and a lot more difficult to come by mr noldi shared that sunlight or any kind of artificial light is very important for these plants they actually do require high but not direct sunlight to push out this beautiful variegation to have a bright color to have a balanced variegation he also said that when you propagate these plants, the first few leaves, maybe the first second or third leaves are going to be completely white. They will usually crisp up and die off. But then if you keep waiting, the next leaf, I mean the fourth or the fifth leaf will be a normal leaf that has chlorophyll starting to emerge. Now I did ask about fertilizing and he said that fertilizing is very very simple for these guys. He used a balance NPK ratio which I actually do as well and he used the brand Dynamite. It's a red color bottle. It's going to be on the screen for you guys to look at in case you want to look for it. As a grower and seller of variegated monsteras, I definitely will take his advice to heart. 
Mr. Noli said that to prevent reversion, lower nitrogen level is recommended. Although he has seen a lot of good variegated plants with good genetics do okay with higher nitrogen fertilizers. In fact, sometimes it can also brighten up the plant and give it more contrast between the green and the variegation. The next variegated monstera is the Monstera deliciosa orange. We actually come across this plant in Mr. Holmes' tour, which I'm gonna link up above. So this plant originally came from Brazil, allegedly and Mr. Holm brought it to Bangkok and that's where Mr. Noldi got it from and this is called the super orange and there's another variety called the orange which has maybe slightly less bright orange than this one. I will flash on the screen an old clip of me at Mr. Holm's place where he showed me the super orange Monstera Deliciosa that he had. Now this is still considered very rare and not a lot of people have it. In fact, when I asked Mr. Noldi, he said that he's the only collector that he know of that has this plant here in Indonesia. Next up, we have an unpopular variegated monstera. It's called the green on green. It's got this light green variegation on a darker green foliage. This is one that is not really soft after because a lot of people wanted to flaunt their variegation. So they're looking for something that is very bright and very showy. Although I do quite like the green on green. I don't see that in my collection anytime soon because I do want that pop of color when I have a variegated plant as well. And here is a Monstera Thai Constellation Cream Brulee. This is a larger one. Look at how beautiful this variegation is. So this is a new generation of Monstera Thai Constellation, which by the way came from tissue culture. So this is a new variety discovered that has really, really more uh, variegation than the regular Thai Constellation. It's got these segments on the leaves that, that are highly variegated. So this has been sought after for a while. I've been seeing it around in the market, but then it's still not that affordable in my opinion i'm still struggling to get my month regular thai constellation to get big so there you go and this one is a monstera deliciosa called the sphinx mr noldi got this from thailand and it's well known for its sectoral variegation this means that usually it's like half a leaf or blotches of the leaf that are variegated and then the other half would be completely green i don't know if i'm making any sense but if you look at the leaves careful you'll see the sectoral variegation on these and this beautiful minty variegation on the plant and look at how beautiful this has fenestrated the holes on it is really really quite something I really, really am in love with this particular plant, although I have a feeling it's going to be extremely, extremely expensive to come by. As usual, a lot of the sectoral variegated monsteras are considered more expensive and more valued than the regular variegated. The next contender is the Monstera Deliciosa Yellow Marlin. This is by Mr. Kunzo from Japan. So it's made in Japan and look at how beautiful the neon variegation is on these. It's a gorgeous yellow variegation that looks like a highlighter. So this is uh, quite stable in variegation. I've seen many of these in nurseries. They're still very, very difficult to come by. A lot of people still can't afford it. But look at how stunning and beautiful the coloration is. So this is a Deliciosa variety. And as you can see, Deliciosas can get rather big so this is still a pretty small plant can you imagine this plant sitting in the dark on a, like a green wall or something and a light source illuminates the variegated portion of the leaves it's just going to be so stunning the next variety is the Monstera Deliciosa Oceana I did discover this over the pandemic I only seen one plant of this before and it was very very expensive it's got kind of a lime green variegation that i really really like the color is sort of on the cool side for the whole plant unlike the yellow variegated which brings some warmth and some contrast to the variegation the variegation on the oceana tends to be very very splashy as well which i really really like it's kind of like an upgraded version of the white variegated monstera but it's just got its own characteristic that sets it apart from other variegated monsteras the next plant is also from Mr. Kunzo from Japan. This is a Monstera Thai constellation that has mutated. They forgot the name of it, but it looks like a turtle's back. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's in that realm. But look at how it curls in and every leaf is just like hunched back. So it kind of curls in on itself. I'm wondering what the mature form of this would look like, but the mutation is apparently quite stable on this one. Next, we have the Monstera Borzigiana Marmorata. This is actually 
known as Aria as well, or the yellow variegated Monstera. It was popular for a very short while, but it very quickly fell off the radar. I don't know why, but this is really beautiful. And as you can see, this has already achieved a mature size, but it's not huge. So the difference between a Monstera Borzigiana and a Deliciosa is that the Deliciosa can get really, really huge, and the Borzigiana is stuck at this size. But I really, really like this plant because sometimes, and I've seen this in many nurseries, they can become this tricolor variegation with like this nice neon yellow variegation with a little bit of that creamy variegation. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna treat your eyes to this beautiful Monstera Albo Borzigiana fruit. The leaves are turned green, but believe me, this is actually a variegated Monstera Albo. And look at how cute the fruits are. I probably self-pollinated or maybe it's not fertile at all this is the lower leaves so if some birds or some animals ate the fruit up and disperse it around the garden or around the neighbor's place they're gonna have some baby variegated monsteras probably <laughs> but yeah apparently these do fruit and they can produce variegated baby plants as well as long as they are correctly pollinated which they're not sure that this one is we have moved our shooting location up to the third floor this is an evap room which we're gonna discuss in next week's episode but this is a monstera mint and it's actually not ready for sale yet they're still propagating it and finding a really good variegation on the baby leaves so this will actually need a bit more time to be ready for sale but this is a very special room that has high humidity that has cooling system that is highly automated look at how beautiful this one cutting is it's put out three growth points and at least let Mr. Noli said at least two of them will come out with this beautiful new plant out of this one cutting now watching baby plants emerge out of propagations that really really brings me a lot of joy so it's very very exciting to be here in this room with him and here the automatic sprinklers just came on it's exactly 4 p.m how wonderful is this and i was zooming in on one of these plants it caught my eye because i did see this in thailand just a few months ago this is the monstera thai constellation legacy this is the product of Mr. Tasan, whom we briefly met at Lana International Plant Festival in Chiang Mai, Thailand. Feel free to check out that video. But this is that Monster Thai Constellation Legacy up close. It's a mutation of the Thai Constellation, and we're seeing quite a lot of different varieties come out of it. Amazing. And this is actually still very, very scarce. There's not a lot in stock yet. So it's going to be a while until collectors like us can actually attain this beautiful Monstera. Keep in mind, Thai Constellations can get really really big this is actually considered a baby size plant this snowy type pattern on this variegation is truly unique it's just going to add such a pop of color to any indoor jungle space and this is another white mint that we saw so mr noldi explained that there's also the white monster which is actually a deliciosa version of the white mint but in his experience he's grown i think about six of them none of the white monsters turned out to be mint they ended up reverting to green after a few leaves so if anybody has successfully grown a white monster please do let him know he's very interested to seek them out but he's only had success with the white mint in this variety which is like in between the deliciosa or borzigiana now this next plant really caught my eye and I asked him what it was but unfortunately he couldn't give me a, a straight name for it so do let me know if you know what this is but he said that this came from a Monstera Deliciosa sport and it came from seedlings so yeah that is apparently a variety of the Monstera Deliciosa that is entirely new to me and I would really love it if somebody could explain what this is but it's beautiful look at the all white leaf i think that's an unusual occurrence but yeah the regular variegation seems to be like a sunset orangey yellow type variegation for this particular sport variegation will you just look at how beautiful the pattern is on this variegation wow this is very very stunning to me and it really really ticks all the boxes for me and here we come across some white mint monsteras that has put out the first set of leaves. And as he mentioned earlier, the first set of leaves are going to be completely, completely white. And they will die off or crisp up very, very quickly. It's only on the fourth or fifth leaf that you will start to see some chlorophyll form. And you will see this beautiful white mint variegation that is stable on this plant. So do give it some time if you're propagating this plant. Not that I will be able to afford this plant for the next 10 years or so. But it's good to know that they actually take time to produce chlorophyll chlorophyll on the new leaves 
As you can see in this room, it's getting bright indirect light pretty much all day. Although he did supplement this with artificial light. So when it gets dark, this artificial light actually does turn on. And I'm betting it's probably a good view to look at all these plants under grow lights. It will be so beautiful when it's illuminated. Now he turns off the lights about four hours a day to give these plants a break, to give them some time to sleep. But other than that, they're working overtime. They're getting bright indirect light all day long and this is a VIP treatment for plants again this is another view for the sport variegated monstera how nice is this I really don't know exactly the details on this this is still pretty new to me but it's just stunning how the variegation looks and that one fully variegated leaf is completely unforgettable so with that I'm bidding Mr. Noldi goodbye I'm thanking him for taking us along on this journey to show us his collection and to look at all the variegated monsteras we will be back next episode to look at all his other plants he has a lot of cool anthuriums philodendrons and large large plants so stick around but before i let you go i'm going to quickly show you some of the other variegated monsteras that i've encountered so that you've, you'll see it all in one video this next monstera was discovered at floy international convex which is a plant show here in indonesia in october feel free to check out that video but this one's a thai constellation that is curled in on itself and this curling is apparently very very stable so they have propagated this before and how amazing does that look it looks like somebody took a curler a hair curling iron and ran it over the leaves this is beautiful and the next variegated monstera is the tricolor thai constellation by michael d'andrea at lana international plant exposition in chiang mai Just check that video out but this is a tricolored thai constellation that is amazing so be on the lookout for more variegated monsteras that are coming into the market and i bid you farewell for real this time thank you so much for watching